Guys, we are back again. Sports talk in the man cave. I can't believe it. We're here, vaccinated, no mask, together once again. And it's amazing. It good. It's the first time in a long time. It's been and a it seems like we're never gonna get back to it. Like uh, the barber, right? So, yeah, like, yeah, like that. Still haven't got back to it. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. But it, uh, this week, it's gonna happen. This week, finally. Uh, David fin Pop Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> finally, gonna start seeing patients again this week in the in the clinic and. So it's going to be good. That's great. What have you guys been doing on your off time? I mean, <laughs> I gained a lot of weight. Really? Yeah, really? We, we haven't had students at school. They barely came back this week, and it feels kind of cool to have them back. So. Now, you, you've been working out a lot, man. I see your videos of uh, you. I learned doing... this whole break. I learned how to fight MMA a little bit. That was that's fun. Good. That was fun. That was a new skill I learned. That's awesome. Well, that's, that's more than I did. That's good. <laughs> Charlie, uh, uh, well, I, I stopped going to the gym. <laughs> so that's good. That's one Started that out there for a while and uh, <laughs> not much after that. All right. And, and Gil? I think work? I'm on year 10 of bulking still. <laughs> so, bulking. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think I'm taking it day by day, but one day I'll wake up and I'll be shredding. Yeah, so, yeah, one day. Yeah. One day. One day. Yeah. Man, I, um, oh, I just had my gallbladder out, you know, last oh, uh, yes. about a few weeks ago. So that was uh, one thing. And, uh, feel better, so that's good. So and and um, starting my diet again. So awesome. all right, Deal. back on track. Back on track. Back on track. So let's get to the sports, and um, we're gonna talk. Well, tomorrow's the NFL draft, so I think we should talk a little bit about that. And I know uh, Gilbert and, and Charlie, you have a little bit to say on that and what you guys think should happen. Well, uh, I, I think I think that. Um, First of all, we have to see like the top pros prospects, who's going to get picked first, second, third, you know, mm -hmm. the top guys. And then maybe talk about the Cowboys, mm -hmm. who we think the Cowboys should get or can get. Well, I think, I think people are in agreement that number one is going to be Trevor Lawrence. Trevor, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence. Right? I mean, the, guy, the guy's good. I think him and Joe Burrow are going to be the new quarterbacks out there that are going to... Tom lead. Brady's not done yet. Well, Tom Brady's going to win this year, so, you know, we know that that's the case again. Yeah, but, they're uh, trying to get yeah. more guys to protect him. So the weakest so link. Yeah. yeah. The weak yeah. link. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of good quarterbacks in the league after this. But let, let's say after Trevor Lawrence. Now, that would be going to the Jaguars. That's a, that's the first uh, pick, right? Right. Yeah. Jackson. And then, and then New York is next. Gilbert, what do you think? I think they have the BYU quarterback locked in. Uh, his name is what's his name, Charlie? Uh, Wilson. Uh, yeah, Will Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. He's already locked in. Number number two. Number three. That's where the domino effect is gonna is gonna happen. Nobody knows what the four ers are gonna do. Uh, in my opinion, the top prospect would be Justin Fields. That's just my opinion. But uh, everybody's saying that it's between uh, Mac Jones and Trey Lance. I don't know what you guys have heard or what y'all think. I think I think Mac Jones, but. Justin Fields is probably the second best quarterback out there. Uh, actually, he's even he even has a little bit more upside evading the rush than Lawrence. But they both have super good arms. Um, Fields probably has a stronger arm, yeah. but they're both accurate, pinpoint accuracy. So it doesn't really... Are those two guys gonna be guys that elevate the team in their first year? Well, they got the quarterback whisperer in Shanahan. I mean, and what you have to understand is Shanahan really doesn't care about mobility. He's more about, you know, getting the ball out real fast. You know, if you've seen his quarterbacks, he preferred Cousins over uh, RG3. He had, he did a miracle with, what's his name, with, with, with uh, Matt Ryan. He won the MVP with Matt Ryan. I mean, the guy's a really good, and I think, I think that's why he's leaning towards Mac Jones, because if you see the way Mac, Mac, Mac Jones uh, throws the ball, he gets the ball, he, re he gets it out of the way right, right away. And so I think that, and also he worked with Sarkeesian, the offensive coordinator who also used to work with the Falcons with Shanahan. So he's kind of familiar with, with, uh, with what's his name, with Mac Jones. All right, so, so then you're, you're leaning that way? I think I'm leaning that way. You're gonna book it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> semi book it, semi semi <laughs> Been a, while. a little pamphlet. <laughs> no, I think it, and this draft, I don't know if you agree or not, very high on quarterbacks, very high on yeah. uh, cornerbacks, uh, there's some good linebackers out there, O-line, some D-line, but I don't know what you hear about running backs. Do you all hear anything else about running backs? Was it Georgia who had a good running back or someone had a good running back this year? 
because I was talking to my friend today, and he was talking to me about the draft. And he's a Steelers fan, and the Steelers just got rid of uh, what's his name that running back they had, my uh, fantasy running back that didn't do anything. Connor. Answer. Connor. Yeah. So they're they're looking for a running back, and he said there was one, but I don't remember what where he the said. The Alabama one is supposed to go for it. I think Nigel Harris, the guy. Maybe that you said that guy. So that, yeah. so I think that there even may be that opening at twenty four. I think they're at twenty four. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the way it's been going. I mean, if, if you guys. Think about it. Look, look. Um, what's his name? The guy from uh, the Giants, uh, and then Zeke before that. Saquon. I mean, like, yeah. Saquon. I mean, come on. These running backs shouldn't go that high. So I think they're gonna they're gonna yeah. start dropping just because three, four, five years down the road they're getting rid of these running backs. They're getting rid of the running backs, and they're really uh, they recycling. Focusing on these wide receivers, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, and so. Okay, and another thing is that the best guy out there besides quarterbacks is a tight end. Okay, and uh, Pitts. And this guy, if he drops, I have a friend, Casey King, mm -hmm. uh, was telling me, if they could trade up or if he drops to 10, you could pick him up. But it's very unlikely for Pitts to drop to 10. They say he's a playmaker, that he's going to make a huge difference in, in Why a would team. we want to get it? We don't need offense right now. We need defense. That's what I think. Yeah. I, I totally agree. Yeah. But there's some guys that you just don't pass on. Like not a, not a maybe, tight end. Maybe. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Well, him, no. They're, they're calling them transcendent. They, what's it called? Transcendent talents or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, uh, they, like, you know, that he, he's like kind the, of revolutionized the, the kind of reminds better, him of Tony be, Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez, yeah. Gronk, all of the top that he's probably up there with him. Wow. So, you Is know, it's. Good? He, they say that he's that yeah. great. He's got he's got his his uh, wing his wingspan is is amazing. He's tall. I mean he's he's gonna he's supposed to be in another level. I don't think a, I don't think a anymore. tight end is a make or break for a team. Well, what do you think the Cowboys are gonna get? I'm hoping either a linebacker or secondary, like a great linebacker or, or so, a cornerback or something. Yeah. Because our defense sucked. Like our offense was not bad when we had Dak. But our defense sucked the whole season. You don't think they'll trade down to get an offensive lineman? See, I think offensive that if one of these quarterbacks drops, I think that if Justin Fields drops and mm. New England has a chance to go up and get him, I think they'll make a trade with the Cowboys. Mm. They have they have an offensive lineman that I've seen going uh, like number seven on a mock draft. Yeah, they were gonna you know, it. you yeah. you don't want to drop down and let them pick the top three or four because. When you're talking about linemen, they have to be big, fast. They have to be ready. They have to be ready. They have to be ready, and not too many guys are ready for pro guys. That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, you ha it has to be a top guy or just forget about but it. But I agree with Carlos. We do need the defense first. Mm -hmm. I, you know, defense and O-line, damn, you know. See, the thing is, what do they say about Jerry Jones? He wants box office. You know, so it's not always a right pick. It's the flashy pick. That's what he usually goes after. So, I mean, it's kind of like, who knows with this guy? Look, he's, he's done a good job of, of building the offense with the picks that he's had, uh, the receivers that we got. But it's time to, you know, I hate to say because I'm an offensive guy, but defense wins championships. Yeah, you defense, need, you need defense. defense. I defense mean, was you could. Tampa Bay is a good example of that. Yeah. But you have, to, you have to agree, there's some teams that have been in the past, like Kansas City a couple of years ago, oh, you yeah. know, yeah. you have to outscore them. You know, you have to but, outscore them. But they, we don't have that good of an offense. No. no. But, but we do have a good offense that could take us far if we, if we had a defense to help them. Right. And we're not going to get that good of offense drafting another receiver. Yeah. So we need to focus on the defense. So you would disagree with going with the tight end that could change the game? Yeah, yeah, I would. You could, Can you our change titans your team? Are, the reason our I say that, Charlie, Charlie, the only reason I say that is because there's not enough balls to go around. You know yeah. what? I know he's a mismatch for any for any, nobody can guard this guy, right? But then we still had to keep Damn. Cooper happy. We got to keep Gallup happy. We got to keep Zeke in the backfield happy. I mean, we're not going to be able to keep everybody happy. Yeah, but and then you can't be. You need to score sixty points if our defense is still terrible. Yeah, and we don't have Pat Mahomes. We have Dak Prescott, who's good. But he's not what? Pat Mahomes. You said good. No. <laughs> he's good, but he's not Pat Mahomes. Oh, yeah. I think I think he'll change your mind if he gets to play all season. I think he. Uh, hey, no, he was doing good last season. I mean, he was out, and 
Six, seven games have gone by since he was out, and he was still leading most quarterbacks yeah, in yards. I mean, and we always knew he could put up stats. That's not the deal. Yeah, yeah. Let's not get into this. He right was now. doing good. I mean, he did lose a couple games at the beginning with the fumbles yeah. and the whatever. But I mean, other yeah. than that, I mean, he was doing okay. And not more than Tony Romo. The only thing is, we noticed how much of a difference he made when he went out. Mm-hmm. But then the Red Rocket got warmed up. Mm-hmm. He got warmed mm-hmm. up, and he got a and little. We lost him. Damn. Yeah. So we need a backup quarterback. Quit it one of these. We're not going to draft quarter- a backup no. quarterback. Hey, hey no. we might. He, no, you no, never no, know. Not with our first rounder. Uh-uh. Not with our first rounder. We need defense. Somebody, somebody that's going to make a difference on the field I, right I, away. Is I, that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, yeah. They won't draft a quarterback unless unless they're going to trade him. You know. And you, so, you like, know. You know what happened last year with C.D. Lamb? Yes. He fell back, and he was too good to pass up. That was never the plan. What was the plan? But defense. The, the plan was defense. And, but he fell they so far up. back that they I mean, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. But since he fell that far back, they couldn't leave him there. Yeah. So they had to pick him up. You know, it's something that you say, hey, the best one up there. And uh, with, the pick, with, the, with the 10th pick, with the tenth pick, there's going to be a lot of chance to, you know, get somebody good that will make a difference on any side of the ball. But hopefully we get it on the defensive side of the ball. And certain is the person that I think that they're going to end up getting because I think I already heard rumors that Jerry Jones has been talking to him instead of Horn. And I think he's a better man-to-man coverage. Horn just, like tries to stop you on the line, you know. And, See, uh, we could get a good man-to-man coverage. I think that, that makes the defense way better. You could take one extra safety off of that side and help him help out with the runners. runners. And, all the different and I think that's what they're saying that he's like the top guy, man to man. I mean, even the the linebacker from Penn State would make a difference because we don't have any linebackers. We're always hurt, or and the other guy retired. So I mean, we're kind of we. I mean, I wish we had two top ten picks, but we don't, right? But I mean, we, we need we a linebacker too, a, a difference maker. You uh, saw the way those linebackers from Tampa Bay made a difference. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I mean that. I mean, you have to also look at that. You know, it's kind of a copy a copycat league. It's not like the Tampa Bay had really like locked down corners, but they had a hell of a defensive line and they had a hell of a linebackers. So I mean, they kept that pressure on the quarterback. So that's another route. That's a route, well, another route to go. We'll see. I'll yeah. be happy with the linebacker corner. Then. Yeah, and and now let let's talk. I, I know we can get into more detail, and you guys may have more detail on the draft. But again, who do you think is actually going to win it next year? I know my pick. Tampa Bay, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Kansas City. Kansas City? The, 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 the only good. reason they didn't win it this year is because they had those two linemen out. Yeah. If That's, they had those two linemen, they would have won. Yeah. I agree. But, but it's always injury is part of the game. Mm-hmm. Injury is part of the game. Yeah. And, uh, so, like, what you, so what do you say? Whoever's healthy. Who, uh, the, the best, yeah. healthiest team. The healthiest. Mm-hmm. I mean, because... They should have won it, but you have two linemen out, and even in that last show that we did, I said it. They have two linemen out. They're going to be putting too much pressure on this guy. They're going to have him running but all over the place. Weren't they out because of COVID? Yeah. One no. of them, I think one two of them, them, I think one or two of them was COVID. The one, I think there was a doctor, and he went to go help out somewhere. Mm-hmm. So and it was he COVID. Had two, and then he had, <laughs> they all came I, back. I, to I think COVID. there was two guys that blew out their knee. They had four guys out total. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. what are the odds of that? Yeah. It's a COVID year. That was three because of COVID because yeah. he's a doctor helping. But everybody knows that if Mahomes gets a little bit of protection, yes, he can do wonders. They're gonna win. Mm-hmm. So, and I'm pretty. Sure they got a lineman. They yeah, picked yeah, up a lineman. yeah. Orlando Brown. They and picked maybe, up. A, yeah, and maybe Brown. they'll draft another they'll good one. Tech, yeah. Maybe they'll draft another yeah. good one. Yeah. And oh. th- like I tell you, there is good linemen out there this year. Yeah. There's good linemen out there, so they're gonna win. It. You have to protect your investment, and I think that that's what they're doing. You know, mm-hmm. they got Orlando Brown. They gave up a first round pick. I think they picked up a, one or two free agents already in the offensive line. I mean, they're gonna do whatever it takes to to protect Pat Mahomes and get him back to the Super Bowl. If they can protect him, if they're gonna win. If you go down the list of the offensive tackles, mm-hmm. I mean, they go from six six to six three. There's Tons of them. Yeah. All of them are like 310, 315, 340. Yeah. I mean, it's, you can pick somebody healthy. up. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> hey, but these guys can move because they're they're up there. You know, I get a heart attack in the middle of the field, but <laughs> I know that's that's what they that's what they're at more or less. That's at their weights that they're I'm at. Not healthy though. Well, oh, that's another topic. That's yeah, that's topic. Topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, the and how do you guys see Green Bay doing this year, man? 
I don't think they can. I think they'll go to the NFC Championship and lose again to whoever. <laughs> I, don't no, I think they peaked last year. I think they peaked last year. I think this year that uh, I don't think they'll do as good as they did last year. I mean, year. last year they won some games. Mm-hmm. The, the but, skin of their I team, mean, but they yeah. were like a fourth and something yeah. away from beating you know Tampa Bay when when Brady threw three interceptions in the second half. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, but you know, the, the defense forced them to think, throw. The defense, the, exactly. The defense, the defense forced them yeah. to throw. I think Tampa so. Bay is going to be the top of the NFC. Maybe yeah. Seattle. Yeah, I'm going to say it, but I think the Cowboys. <laughs> but I think the Cowboys <laughs> will do great. Yeah. I think we're going to fix the defense. God, I hope they fix the defense. And stay healthy. Last year, before the season started, we had hamstring and knee, and they had to get rid of one of the but guys. The, the thing about that is that it's not. Like it's a oh one year he got injured that's it he's this guy's injury prone continues Sean Lee re- retired because of it uh this wolf guy what's his name yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's following in the footsteps of Vanders Sean Lee doing the same and, and, thing. and what he has is Jalen Smith is yeah. Jalen Smith just Jalen getting Smith worse and worse and worse Jalen yeah. Smith yeah. has actually I think bulked up Progressed. too much that he's gotten slower. I remember how he would get from side to side on the field so fast, and now the quarterbacks actually outrun him. <laughs> yeah, he yes. got worse and worse. It's like he celebrates after every average tackle. You know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> job, doing your job. Yeah, but uh, Arizona, I think that's my dark horse team coming out of the uh, NFC, and uh, AFC, my dark horse team would probably be um, the Chargers. Chargers. Wow. No, I don't have any teams Herbert. right now. Mm-hmm. Except my cowboys. Yeah. What are the, what are the surprises do you have in the draft there? What do you have as far as your draft? As as far as the draft that I was looking at, some of these people have Justin Fields not going in the top ten. Wow. I don't think that many teams can pass him up. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I do believe that there's gonna be four quarterbacks picked in the top ten, but he has to be one of them. Mm-hmm. For sure. I mean Somebody, or somebody's going to come up with a really just, good pick after 10. He just has a certain style of playing that is not for every team. That's the thing. A lot of coaches don't like that style of the running quarterback. And I know he can throw too, but in that national championship game, he didn't look the best he's played. Yeah, and, and they gave him that. He looked good against Clemson. And Clemson had a lot of pro prospects too. I mean, the guy runs a 4-4. He's got a rocket arm. I mean, he's got a yeah, rocket, but yeah. he's not... An accurate rocket. <laughs> yes, he is actually. Well, not a, well, maybe not every throw, but I guess enough like to dad. where. It, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. He's like a scoop up, up, up dad. Yeah. He's like a scoop up dad. He's like a bigger uh, Kyler Murray, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh way. man, Kyler Murray, I like him, but he's too small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think without a mistake, Trevor Lawrence first. Yeah, I, I really want to see how he does. Um, uh, and see if he does great this this year. He reminds me of sunshine. Unpopular opinion. I mean, never saw. Unpopular uh, opinion. Trevor what was Lawrence the name of the is gonna be a bust. Tre- you think? Remember you the remember Titans. This? It's possible. Trevor Lawrence might be a bust. He's never, he's never struggled in his life. Well, he won't he's, struggle now. Is he's gonna. <laughs> what team is he going to? He's like a born winner. Yeah, uh, he's a born he's winner. He's a born winner, and, but and he's going with a coach that never loses either. Okay. He's, he's, he's won everywhere. He's going with a team that never wins either. No, no. Yeah. Jacksonville had a, had a couple of good years with under Blake Bortles. I think they went to the AFC Championship one year or the second round. Yeah, yeah, he's going to he's, he's gonna go to a team that is that is not that good, and he's going to take a few losses and let's see how he handles so that. So you're never, you're he thinking might that bust. Urban Meyer, I believe in them. He won Utah. He won with Florida. He won with Ohio State. He's a winner. You put him in. You put those two guys so together. Nick Saban to won with Alabama all this time. He went to the NFL. He didn't have a quarterback though. So no. you're saying that the same thing that happened to Everybody Mayfield with with people's perception of Mayfield because he's good, but the perception his perception was that he wasn't because he didn't have the time. He didn't have, you know, <clears throat> he had the players around him. Now he has the players around him. I'm just saying that we've never seen this better. guy struggle. He's gonna struggle his first year. What happens if they don't have a line to protect them? Then they get. I mean, you could say the same thing about Peyton Manning, though. They get. You know, you never really saw a guy struggle. I mean, you know, until they got to the NFL. I mean, but he he did struggle. You know, I mean, he kind of reminds me of that that kind of mold. You know, the Peyton Manning, the you know, the John Elway. 
you know, the, the, that uh, Andrew Luck, those guys coming out, those guys are, are as sure as things as they come. And I don't think, you know, I think that it's unpopular. You know, it's going to be a bust. <laughs> we'll see. Because right. well, so, so right. Jacksonville also we'll has see. like the 25th pick, right? Yep, they do. So, Justin Fields. <laughs> no, I say, I say, move up. Yeah, <laughs> just in case, yeah, I will take you. No, you, you start packing up on the linemen there. That's what the Cowboys did when they drafted Troy Aikman. Yeah, that's, that's exactly Walsh what. That's a good idea. Troy Aikman. Mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Protect them a little bit. Protect them. What are they, what are we talking about the offensive line or are they talking about the quarterback? Well, you get the quarterback. You get the quarterback pick, first pick. And then 25th pick. And then 25th pick, you get a best lineman available. That's Best not, tackle that's, available. That's a good little strategy right that's there. That's a very good strategy. You, yeah. you want the Cowboys to draft the quarterback number no, 10? No, 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 we're no. We're talking about no, Jacksonville. No, we're talking oh, about Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jacksonville gets Trevor Lawrence first, mm -hmm. and then 25th pick, best offensive tackle. Oh, well, that's available. Yeah. That's available. Yeah. That's because little, yeah. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a couple of tackles taken. Probably Before 25? Win. Yes. But there's still a good left? There's still good left. They're still good left. That's good. Hey, what do you guys think about the 17 game season? They need load management. I mean, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Running backs. Yeah. Running yeah. backs cannot. There's so take. many injuries in, in 16 games. If you add another one, it's just going to add to the injuries. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm personally happy because there's one less preseason game. Do you get more tickets? Yeah, yeah which is a waste of money right you know if you have another so is it game. like for dallas is it a home or an away or what is it well, I, I hope it's a a, a, a home, home one but, uh, we'll see yeah i think what's going to happen is towards the end these teams are clinching they're going to start load managing these teams are clinching that way they have the mm -hmm. best record they have this they, you know they're going to have this seed or whatever in the playoffs they're going to start holding off their their, their star players their offensive tackles they're going to have you know, they should board, because like football. like you say the healthiest team yeah. More the, than likely will the healthiest well, team will go mostly in every sport. In, yeah, yeah. And they have to increase the number of players. Maybe I don't know. In, Fifty-three man roster. They yeah, they would they, have to go from fifty-three to sixty or sixty-two, yeah. whatever it is. Whatever it takes. But whatever, that way you have uh, to know those guys are gonna be trash anyway. Yeah. Well, you're trash, guy. <laughs> <laughs> like they're NFL yeah. players. <laughs> they're trash. You know, um, mm. but there's too many injuries with sixteen already, and running teams that like the titans mm -hmm. that count so much on that guy to get the ball 22 25 times or whatever that's too many carries you know you give him another 25 he's already getting hurt along the way they play yeah. halfway injured all these running backs are always hurt i mean they they don't play healthy the whole year so you're yeah. gonna go back to a 12 game season <laughs> let's go with 12 games <laughs> No, 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 no. No, but well, I, I was it, fine with 16. I thought it was good, too. I'm great with 17. Go to 18 next you year. Know, <laughs> work our way to 20. For, for a long time, the players that had gone from 12 to 16 were saying that it was just way too much. Yeah. And now, you know. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's a job. It's yeah. a job. It's a job. It's a job. That well, pays very well. We'll find, well, we're finally back, and it's great to be back. Um, I think this draft is going to be very interesting. I hope the Cowboys pick a good pick. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see some good competition next year, and hopefully it can stick in there and, and, and move in to the championship game at least. Hopefully the Cowboys pick the defensive guy. That cornerback will probably be up there for them to get. So certain, certain yeah, would be... Sometimes. All right, guys. No Any other last comments here? No, no, good to be back. It's good to be back, mm -hmm. man. Thank you all. Nice to see you guys again, and we shall see you next time.